Mailed by Nikki, and today I have some packages I would like to open with you and for you. So this first one here, let's just see. It's from a company called Beauty Big Bang. Psych! <laughs> Psych! <laughs> I legit was gonna do that voice the whole video. What? <laughs> Yo, I couldn't even pull it off. I couldn't pull it off. I tried though. I tried. I right, Pete. I have a package from Beauty Big Bang. And the first thing I want to show you guys is this drill bit. So what is so cool about this drill bit, y'all, is that it's gold. And I have a lot of carbide drill bits, but I don't have very many gold ones. Do I have any gold ones? Maybe I have like one or two. I don't have many gold ones. And I've never ordered any drill bits from Beauty Big Bang. This is the first one from that company. So I only ordered one. And I will see how it goes before I order more. And then, I guess I should have started with this card first. I'm so backwards sometimes, y'all. But here's a card from Beauty Big Bang. And it says, love it, share it. So if you love whatever you order from them, you know share it let the world know just like i'm doing right now that they are a dope company <laughs> <Ding! laughs> and um i will have my coupon code somewhere on the screen like i always do and if i ever forget to put my coupon code on the screen guys check my description box below i think i have like 10 coupon codes now like i'm working hard for y'all to get these coupon codes for y'all to save some money so check my description box and use my coupon codes okay all righty so these little butterfly stickers they're not for the fall or winter so i'm just gonna put those away they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but I don't have anything in mind that I want to use them for now in this season. But trust me, they will get used. Same like these hearts, man. <sighs> I don't have a use for them now. Because right now I'm thinking of like my fall nails, my winter nails. So I won't use those right now. But they will get used. Like, uh, they're gorgeous. They will get used. Just not like in October, November, or December. <laughs> Catch me around January, February, and it's on. All right. So I also have some dotting tools. Let me put them in order really quick. All right. So I have them in order from like smallest to largest. Ooh, everyone loves a good dotting tool. And look how cute these are with like the little crystals on the inside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then on the other side are striping brushes. Let me pop this plastic right off so y'all can see these little brushes. I'm, I'm like really obsessed with brushes lately. Like I have so many brushes. Like my brush collection is getting outrageous. And I don't even care. I don't even care. Because there's nothing like having a design or an art like theme in mind. And you don't have the brushes or the tools to execute your idea. Yo, that is frustrating. So I don't even care. I have so many brushes right now, y'all. And you could never have enough brushes. Look at this tiny brush. Look at this tiny detail brush. Like you could write some letters on a nail. You could write a whole paragraph with that little detail brush that's like almost the size of a pen yo and then look at this one a little bit larger i could definitely get some nice fine details in with this brush super cute super pretty and i like that one side is a brush and the other side is a dotting tool so I feel like they really optimize the entire, like the entire unit, you know, like one side is for this, the other side is for that. Like just use the whole thing Just and, and it's pretty and it's really, really pretty. So yeah, if you need a dotting tool with a brush, a uh, boom, beauty, big bang, gotcha. And I got you, I got you too, because I got a coupon code so you could get it and you can save some money. All right. So I also have this stamping plate. So this, I want to say is their pride plate. So they have like a lot of gay pride, just art and just, oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at the heart. So this little heart down at the bottom, which kind of goes into an EKG strip, that kind of represents me because I'm in the medical field. My sisters are in the medical field. So I really liked that. Actually, my one sister, my youngest sister has that same tattoo. So I thought that was pretty, pretty dope. And then look at the little breast cancer ribbon but that ribbon also represents autism my nephew is autistic it also represents like domestic but like that ribbon is just like 
a universal ribbon just depending on what color you use but then they also have like the gay pride stuff which my daughter who will say she's not gay but she has a girlfriend hello accept it and move on with your life what the hell like no judgment here be you love who you love so anyway that play is freaking dope because i feel like it just represents just so many things and people and oh i love it and i want to show you guys that this blue film so I, i'm using my teeth sorry you mm, you know how i am you remove the blue film before you use the plate so if you're new to stamping i just wanted to point that out oh it looks even more gorgeous i love every single design on that plate and there's not a lot of plates that i love every single design you know there's gonna be some plates where it's like eh, i got it because i like two or three designs but then the rest is like whack that plate, everyone is dope and I love it. Now this one is large and I got it because I love the lips at the front. I got this one thinking of Valentine's Day. So I'm thinking of Valentine's Day in advance. But it has like a lot of like the hearts and like the, oh, look at the couples at the bottom. Oh, so stinking cute. But I'm really, really in love with the flowers and the kissy lips at the top. Like that's my favorite. And then those hearts over there at the top. Oh, look at that little, oh, look at them about to kiss, honey. Y'all ain't grown. Y'all are not grown. So that plate is super, super cute as well. Now here's some other plates I got from Beauty Big Bang. I want to show you guys these. And I did play with these plates before. I'm showing you guys the number in case you guys ever want to order these plates. But I did show you this plate before. So yeah, some of you may be like, oh yeah, I already saw that. Yeah. And then this one, I did my mermaid nails and I was so proud of those nails. When I used this plate, that was the very first time that I did a very good, neat, stamping nail art that I could say, yes, I was proud of. The very, very, very first time. So I really love that plate. <laughs> That's one of my favorite plates for that reason. I'll link that video below because you got to check it out. You got to check it out. So I don't have like a little stamping book yet to like put all my stamping plates in, but I do have a designated drawer that I put all my stamping plates and my stamping polish and all that in. So I put those there and now moving on to my second package, the nail candy shop. Oh my gosh, my little lovely nail sister has sent this to me, I want to say like a month ago, and I know she thought that I forgot about it, but no, honey, I did not. I did not. I did not, honey. Check out this canvas bag, yo. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but something is going in there. I love little bags. I love little containers. Oh my gosh, the presentation is fantastic. Okay, let's start with these small glitter bags over here. Look at the back of this bag, how it has her logo on it, yo. She did not come to play. Oh, okay, let me stop. Now, <laughs> let me turn these lights off. Okay, so we can really see the beauty. Oh my gosh. So this first one is called Jack. Oh, look at all the color. So the main thing is like black and white. Okay, but then you also see like hologram. Oh my gosh, yo, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And then this one, the stats return. I hope I'm pronouncing these things right, y'all, because you know, sometimes these names, y'all be coming out of left field with these names. This one kind of looks like Jack over there, but this one has more like purples and blues and greens. Oh, Dolan, Dolan. All right. This one is King Midas, and it's a gorgeous gold. So pretty, and this one is a classic gold. I could use this for one of my fall sets. I'm trying to think of what I want to do for my fall nails. That gold, I could kind of tie that into, into a fall look. And this one is Intergalactic Fusion. I love this one. I, uh, I don't know which nail art or glitter I want to use for the set that I'm going to do today, but I might use that one. I might use Intergalactic Fusion. Now this one called Ain't No Sunshine. And I was like, why would she call it that? But look, there's little pink umbrellas in there. And then there's blue and white, which represents the rain and the clouds and the pink umbrella. That is so clever. So clever, homegirl. Clap, clap, and a high five. All right, now let's look at these larger, well, I shouldn't say larger portions. They're just packaged differently. 
And she did throw in a card. I love when companies throw in cards. It just gives that extra special. Mm. Now, this is my coupon code, guys, that came in my package, but I'm going to share it with you. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, don't say I never did anything for you. Maybe I'll add this to my description box below. I'll ask her if it's okay for me to add that coupon code to the description box and also if there's an expiration date on it so that you guys will know, you know, if you're going to use it, you need to hurry up and use it. I'll hit her up in her inbox and find out before I post this video. All right, now here we go. Now this looks kind of funky and I did not want to open it because you know how I am, like everything falls. Um, but I couldn't really tell what it was with the lid on and even with it open, I'm like, what is, it kind of looks like fall leaves. Like, you know, it's fall. So uh, that wouldn't be too outlandish. Um, but it's actually a boot and a horse. Oh, I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed that would have, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> I legit thought it was some brown leaves, for real. All right, so this one you could clearly see, so I'm not opening it, okay? These are some cactuses. Yo, like she is really setting me up for some themed nails. Now I have to come up with a whole Western theme to use the little cowboy boo and the horse. Then I gotta come up with some kind of desert theme for the cactus. Girl! What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll figure it out. Now this, I'm very excited for these ribbons and they're like purple. Isn't the autistic? No, the autistic, they're a puzzle piece. I don't, there is something that is purple. There's a purple ribbon and I think there's a blue ribbon, right? Because I know the pink ribbon is for breast cancer. There's a purple and there's a blue. Help me out, guys. Help me out. I don't know all the ribbon colors, but this is really, really cute. And I'm going to find out what color ribbon month association thing that will go to. And I will definitely make a set of nails that will be represented with that ribbon. All right. Now this one, this one is, uh, what? It looks like penguins. Yes. <laughs> what? What am I going to do? Oh my God. Let me open it just to make sure. I think it was a penguin, but let me look. Oh my God. These colors are so pretty. <laughs> if you guys want some themed nails, like she has some specific glitter. Like I don't think anyone is going to have a cactus nail, a Western themed nail, or even like a penguin. Like what? Oh my god. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh my gosh, those cute little birds. Oh my gosh. Okay, those are cute. I'm just so happy that I didn't drop anything yet because y'all know my little clumsy butterfinger behind be dropping everything. Now look, y'all. Look at the breast cancer awareness symbol. -la. And I just did my breast cancer nails. Had I seen those, of course I would have used these. Of course I would have used them. But that's my fault because I had this package and I didn't open it. So that's what I get. Now, I actually like how both ribbons look together. Like, because the purple is purple, but it also looks like it, there's some pink ness in there. I don't know. They kind of look like they would play well together on a set of nails. All right. So here is some bling, y'all. And I'm surprised. Well, I shouldn't say surprised. Eh, well, I guess I kind of am. I didn't know she sold bling. I knew she sold glitter. I just didn't know bling was a part of her pack. Like, yo, and not only bling, but like the large ones. And I love me a good large stone, honey. So thank you for sending me all of this i oh my god thank you thank you thank you today i'm going to use the intergalactic fusion color in my art and because there's pink and blue in that glitter i'm using my not polished pink this is color g12 and it's a part of their glow series but i don't really care about it glowing i just want to try out this acrylic i've never used this color before it's going to be my first time so whether it glows or not is irrelevant for what i'm trying to do today and then I'm also going to use this blue. Now, I did use this blue before and it works well. It's just really runny 
is just really runny. Let me show you guys the color. C309 Royalty Sky. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Always dry. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it. All right. So... <laughs> I did use this blue before, but it was very, just very runny. Maybe I'm using a little bit too much monomer, but you guys will see once I use it what I'm talking about. And so again, I'm using this beautiful blue and pink glitter. And then for the base acrylic, I am using my Young Nails Clear Acrylic, and I have Young Nails Monomer in my little purple dappin dish. So that's what I'm gonna use. And then the brush is from Not Polish. It's from the same company that makes the acrylic. So I'm using their acrylic and I'm using their brush. Now I jacked my brush up, you see this hand Handle. I did that with monomer guys not even acetone monomer ate my brush up but it's okay because I'm going to bedazzle it and make it look very pretty this is a very good brush I think I spent over $30 on this brush I'm not going to toss it because of the handle I will bedazzle that thing out and nobody will know so hmm, hmm, wait on it <laughs> this brush is gonna be banging <laughs> all right so what I'm doing right now is just doing a little bit of a base coat of this clear acrylic from Young Nails and I'm just covering the natural nail plate with this that's all I'm doing just because whenever you do colored acrylic you don't want to add the colored acrylic right onto the natural nail plate one reason is that it might lift you know there's a lot of pigment to the acrylics and so sometimes it'll lift if you add the colored pigmented acrylic right to the nail plate but also sometimes you want to file off that color and keep a nice protective layer on the nail plate that's where the clear would come in. So you would just file off the color, but you're not filing down to the nail plate. So that clear coat could also be called a protection coat or a protection layer. So right now I'm going in with the pink and it's very, very pretty. Very, very, it's very pink. It's very pink. I like it. I like it a lot. So on my paper towel, because like I said, this is my first time using it, I just put a little like just to test the feeling of it right on my paper towel. And guys, I recommend that anytime you're using a new acrylic or it's your first set of the day and you just want to get like the feel of what the acrylic and the monomer is doing under your lights. Is it too hot? Is it too cold? Like, what's happening when the monomer hits the polymer? If you want to get the feeling of it, I always recommend just doing a little swatch on the paper towel and just seeing how it's going to feel before you put it on the client's nail. So that's what I did. And I was like, oh, okay, it feels kind of good. So I went right in onto her nail and, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty and it dries... It doesn't dry as slow or runny as the glitter. So maybe the blue one is just runny because there's a lot of glitter in it. But the solid color is not that way, obviously. It went on and it looks so stinking cute. And those glitters just blend right on in with it, baby. I love how that looks. Now, as usual, I don't have like a set design in mind and that's just how I am, guys. I don't have a set design in mind. I just know what colors I wanna use and I'm kind of just going with the flow. So when I'm doing nails, it looks like, because I'm on camera, it looks like I have a set idea, I know what I'm doing and I'm just executing. But that is not... That y'all, <laughs> what actually happens is I do a nail, I pause the video, or I literally don't pause sometimes because I forget, and I just sit there and I stare. I freaking stare at Tuesday and I'm like, okay, one finger is done. What am I going to do with the next finger? And I stare sometime for like 10 minutes and then it'll come to me and then I'm like, okay, boom. And I press record and then I start doing the nail or, you know, whatever. Like that's normally my process It's never as fluid as it looks. And I'm sure I'm not the only one, yo. So <laughs> when I did the ring finger and it was like, okay, pink and then the blue glitter. Then I was like, okay, pinky, what am I going to do? And literally I sat there for the longest and I was like, yo, let me just put the whole freaking finger blue. <laughs> let me just put the whole finger blue. So that's what I did there. And then so now coming onto this pointer finger, I didn't want it to look exactly the same 
as the ring finger, but I knew I wanted those same colors. So I'm like, what can I do that's similar, but not exactly like a twin? You know, like they're, they're sisters, but they're not twins. Like, how can I make them look like that? So <laughs> you're about to see what I come up with as far as the pointer. But yeah, all you guys that hit me up and you're like, oh my God, Oh, this is the funniest thing. When you guys hit me up and you're like, oh my gosh, I did. This literally just happened the other day. Shout out to you. Give me like, let me know. <laughs> Put like the hand raise emoji if you know that I'm talking about you. Put the hand raise emoji. So in my DM, somebody sent me a message that was like, I did my nails and I didn't like how they looked. The underside of my poly gel was jacked up or I couldn't get the cuticle right. Like I said, get all these kind of messages. So I was like, oh, you know what? It takes practice. Da, 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 da. You know, I say whatever I say. And then they'll come back and say, yeah, this was my first time. Blah, blah, blah. I like your first time. What? <laughs> of course. Of course, they look jacked up on your first time. Of course. Are you kidding me? Go back and watch some of my first videos and you will see the horrible mess. The horrible mess that I did calling myself doing nails and had the nerve to put them on YouTube. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all tickle me so much when... When I get these messages, now if somebody comes to me and they say I need help, this is like my hundredth set and they still look horrible. Oh yeah, baby, I got you. What are we going to do? Let me see what you're doing. Send me some pictures. Bop, bop, bop. But if you tell me it was your first time and they look jacked up, honey, it's supposed to look jacked. That's the process. You got to get some jacked up nails so you know what looks good and what doesn't look good. I just laugh sometimes. I'm like, what? <laughs> we all have jacked up nails in the beginning. We all do. That is just part of the process. And actually, right now, I like, you know what? I'm not going to say I, I really enjoy messing up, but I also, I like it. I respect the process. I respect it not being perfect the first time because now I have something to grow towards or to strive to do better on. So I'm like, okay, boom, boom. That last set was jacked up because I didn't file it crisp enough. So bet, next set, I know what I have to do. I know what I have to work on. So I'm not going to say I like messing up, but I definitely respect that process of messing up and trying to fix what I messed up on and growing and maturing and being better as a nail tech. That's all. That's all. That's all. Let me get off my soapbox. Let me get off my soapbox. I said what I had to say. All right, so if you guys noticed when I was doing that middle finger, maybe you didn't catch it, but it was kind of like runny. I don't know. It, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I used too much monomer. I don't know, but I feel like I use the same amount of monomer as I did for every other nail. But when it comes to the glitter nails, like that blue is just very runny. That's all I'm saying. Other than that, it's, it's a, a lovely acrylic line. It flows. It's beautiful. It's pink. Like I have nothing bad to say. Um, and also, maybe I should be using a different monomer. I'm using my Young Nails monomer because I don't have any not polished monomer. So that could also be why. Who knows? I just want to let you guys know that in case you purchase it and you're like, she didn't tell me that it was going to be runny. Nope, nope, nope. I told you. I told you. So this is what the nails look like. I let them dry for about, mm, about two minutes. So basically... When I'm done my set, I like clean up around the area and put things away. By the time I'm done cleaning up, the nails are dry and they're ready to be filed. So now I have my 80 grit hand file. These are the files that I got from the show. If you guys remember my haul that I did from California and I got a big like, you know, thing of files for $5. This is one of those files and I love a good crisp 80 grit course file. Wow, baby, yes. And so I'm filing over a towel. I do have a dust collector, guys, but if you don't have a dust collector, a towel works just as good to protect your workspace and 
to collect all the dust. Like it really does. It really does. So if you you can't afford the dust collector, girl, get you a nice towel. Spread that thing on down. Collect the dust. Take it outside. Shake it off into the grass and throw it into the laundry and wash it. And boom. Recycle and reuse. So I went ahead and hand filed the nails because I actually did an okay job. And I really didn't need to e-file these nails this time, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> That makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. Now, are they perfect? No. And if this was a real client, I always file the top of the nail no matter what. But, you know, Tuesday was like, girl, I know you got other things to do, so don't even worry about it. And I was like, you sure? And she was like, yeah, girl, you straight. So I went ahead and just used my hand file just to kind of tighten up the edges a little bit. I added my Yoyogi top coat because I'm really, really, really digging the top coat lately. So I added my Yoyogi top coat. I cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm using my Model Ones hand cream because this girl gets so ashy, it don't make no sense. Look how good she looks after a good hand cream yes and of course of course the one and only manage cuticle oil the best cuticle oil in the world guys yo if you don't big yourself up who is gonna big you up like for real for real best cuticle oil in the world fight me if you don't agree <laughs> I love it. I love the smell. The smell is like the best thing to me. But I also like how it feels. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks to everybody who have ordered my cuticle oil. I appreciate it like a thousand times more than I could ever say. And this is what Miss Tuesday's nails look like. I love how all the colors complement each other. It just looks like it was made to be like that. Oh, and the little thing that she's resting her hands on. Yes, boo. I made that as well because your girl is getting real crafty over here in the nail room. She getting real crafty, yo. I love that little bling bar. <laughs> the little bling bar. <laughs> what? This is a prototype. It's just a prototype. I want to make more and possibly market them and sell them to you guys. Um, but this is just a prototype. More to come. More to come. Keep your eyes peeled. Until next time, guys. Bye.